okay so let's get started first thing we are going to do is start the Arduino program software um, we'll go to files examples then we'll select Arduino ISP then we'll compile the sketch and after compilation what we'll do is we'll burn it into our board successfully burn the sketch what you will see is we will get a pulsating LED uh, the schematic for this I will be sharing in the links below you can see that and once you have set up the three LEDs with the corresponding resistors on pin 789 on Arduino the heartbeat LED which is the yellow LED should start pulsating so that's step one So after you have made the circuit according to the schematic, the next step is to put a 100 ohm resistance between the 5 volt and the reset pin. So we will put that resistance between the 5 volt and 100 volt pin. Uh, this is for enabling, disabling the auto reset which occurs on Arduino. So let's see the next step then. Okay, so we have reached the penultimate step. So we'll be burning the bootloader now. There are certain settings that I would like to show you before you actually burn the software. We'll select from the board settings Arduino Dumular Norway with Atmega 328. We'll be focusing on only this chip right now. For the programmer we need to set Arduino as ISP. And after we have done this settings we can finally start to burn the bootloader. So yeah, this is it. The moment we've been waiting for. So from the tools menu, I'll finally select the burn bootloader option and you can see that it reads burning bootloader. Let's see what happens. And you can see, yes, the green LED is coming up and the Arduino is getting programmed. You can see the three lights flashing, it means it's burning the bootloader. And this should take about a minute until it's done. And if all goes well, the green light should come up as it is coming up now. If it doesn't come up, you probably had an error and the red LED should come up. But right now, everything's going as planned and we'll have an Arduino chip ready. And there we go, it's done. And you can see here it says done burning bootloader. So that's it, we have an Arduino chip that we can finally use to make our project. Hooray!